Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Resting Instinct. In this video, I will be discussing about adding assertions in Bruno. In Bruno, the complete response is stored in a REST object. To do the status code assertion, we have to use REST.status expression. And to do the assertion for response body, we have to use REST.body.corresponding JSON path expression. I am going straight into the demo. I have already opened Bruno. For this demo, I will be using create user request from request collection. First, I am hitting this request without adding any assertions. So, we have got a 201 status code and this particular JSON response. Now, we have to add assertions. Without adding assertion, we cannot say that this API is perfectly working fine. To do the assertion, just click on this assert tab. There is an add assertion option. In the expression column, you have to use this particular expression to assert the status code. Restored status is the expression we have to use. So we are expecting a 201 status code. In the value column, you can mention the expected status code. In the operator drop down, you can see there are many operators available. There is east null, east JSON, east number, east string. So you can check the data type uh, whether it is greater than or equal to. So there are a lot of operators available based on your AP response. You can do that sort of assertion as well. Here I am covering the status code assertion and JSON response body assertion. So the status code assertion is done. Now I am going to add assertion for JSON response. To do that, you have to use this particular expression rust.body. Then the corresponding key in the JSON response. Here we are going to check the value of key name and job. So you have to mention the key and we are expecting it to be Morpheus. Now I am adding assertion for checking the value of key job. So I am copying this expression and changing the key name to job. For this API, this JSON response is a simple JSON. There is no nested JSON. So if there is a nested JSON, you have to apply the JSON path expression correctly. Here it is very easy. Now you have to put the value of key job inside the value column. Now save the request and send the request. So in the test tab, you can see a count of three in green color, which indicates that there are three assertions in this particular request, and, and those three assertions have passed correctly. Now I am making one assertion intentionally fail. So I am adding one extra one with the value of rust.body.name assertion and saving the request and sending the request. This time you can see the count in red color which indicates that one particular assertion got failed. So this is how you can do the assertion in Bruno. So I am correcting it back to correct value and saving the request and hitting the request again. This time hold assertion added in the request code pass. So this is how you can add assertion in Bruno. So the adding assertion is very easy. There is simple expression we can use. So if you do assertion in other API clients, it will be very difficult. You have to write more code here. We can use simple expression. So that's the beauty of Bruno. So I hope uh, this session was very useful for everyone. If you find this session helpful, please consider subscribing the channel. Please like, share and comment on the video. Thanks for watching and keep learning.